Everyone waited for it. Now it's here. The burnout. So we're inside Blender and you might notice this super tasty car environment. And you might ask yourself, what is it? What is this super tasty environment? I can tell you. This environment is one of the most popular and famous assets on the internet. Some legends might say it's one of the most sold assets in human history. What asset is it, you may ask? It is the Blender Automotive Half Dome Asset. The easiest way to create realistic environments for your car. You can make little animations, donuts, or just still renderings. Get it today. If you don't already have it, I don't even know what you're doing with your life. So let's jump right into the video now that that's out of the way. I was thinking a lot on how to create burnouts. There are external tools, very good external tools. The Blender Smoke isn't great and it renders very slowly, or not render, simulates very slowly, but also renders very slowly. And I tried to come up with the most simple way to create a burnout in Blender. I'm gonna try to keep it short, keep it simple. This video is unedited, so you see every little step about it. So let's first look at what our starting point is. I got a very simple animation. I will not talk about this animation. I hope you can manage to create such an animation. It's really just empties spinning around. No rig, just parent. Okay, next, one thing you'll need for any car, you will need a collider object. This video isn't about colliders, but let me give you a quick tip. Select the complete car, press Control J and use the remesh modifier, and you should come up with something like this, a watertight collider. On this collider, you will enable the collision in the physics tab. Okay, that's our starting point, yeah? Animation, collider. Let's hide the collider, it's still there. Now, let me show you the easiest and quickest way to create burnout smoke. You might laugh, but as you can see in the video, it's not Hollywood quality, but it is quite good for what it is. Let's create a plane. There it is. Maybe even let's go to render mode, why not? Um, after you created this plane, you're gonna go to object, you're gonna go to quick effects, you're gonna click quick smoke. You might know this, you might expect this. Next, we will create, uh, create, already created, take this plane. I will show you, this is a certain shape that I came up with just by testing beforehand. So align the plane about on the back axis of the car on the floor, take the back end, push it forward, so it looks out a little bit and scale it down. So something like this. This burnout video is a lot about tweaking. I'll try to not tweak, but um, yeah, you can tweak this forever to get the perfect results. I'll try to keep it straightforward though. So now you should have a smoking plane just like this. And you see this already kind of looks like a burnout or just a burning car. You be the judge. Um, one thing I just forgot, you see this thing is not moving, so we will take this plane, take any part of the car, it doesn't matter, and control P and parent it to anything, really, so it moves with the car. Now you see the smoke is not re-simulating. Um, I don't know what, why exactly, but what I do is in the physics tab of the domain, oh, here it is, I just changed the quality once, just toggled back and forth, so it re-simulates every time I play. So this doesn't look too bad. Um, one more thing we can do is tweak the domain. So let's take this domain, we can push up the floor a little bit, but also just move it into view, just roughly like this. I'm not going over the hood, so the smoke doesn't just cover the whole full rendering, something like this. If you want to re-simulate, toggle back the quality and re-simulate. So this is pretty much already almost done. It still looks a little bit of like fire. So one little trick you can do to get this more like a burnout smoke is using the force fields and the turbulence. So we're gonna put the turbulence somewhere around here. Like I said, this is a lot of tweaking. And let's re-simulate the cube. So just toggle the quality. 
just raise it once or twice and now let's re-simulate and now you should already get a quite fluffy smoke but this is not fluffy enough so let me put the turbulence maybe more towards the plane you could probably even parent the turbulence on the plane i actually haven't tested that actually that probably works well and now we're starting to get quite fluffy you see it's kind of going everywhere so if we go into render mode you already see it looks pretty burnout delicious right here thanks to the collider the smoke is really collecting around the car so you see this is pretty much done already let's tweak the material so you can already see it here one little trick you see the smoke boop, just pops in yeah so let's insert a keyframe on density uh, make it zero first and then add the keyframe on density go to somewhere it doesn't matter 60 40 whatever density whatever and now the smoke fades in and now back here you can use this and really play with the density and get the tasty burnout look so that's really it there you have it yeah that's it I know it's uh, it's a funny tutorial in the way I don't know like I laughed about this myself because this technique is so stupid in a way but so simple but somehow so effective um, I will uh, upload this file it's linked below you will get everything the half dome the smoke these this plane everything here you will get except the car but I will give you the collider object so basically wait let me show you uh, without the collider uh, oh okay this without the oh god something like this but with less ah there you have it this is exactly what you will get so i will give you this you can get it you cannot get it um, you decide but then you have all the settings and can do whatever you want with it that's it for today i hope you learned something i know a lot of people waited for this video very long um, now it's here. I hope uh, you're happy with the results. I know it's not Hollywood level, but it's a quick little thing to do and have fun with. So goodbye. See you later and have fun as always.